what's up everybody now we are going to look at example two right from duan and use book and in the previous video we have seen delay independent lmi condition to prove stability right of a given tds rti time delay system rti time delay system right okay here's the time delay systems form here Okay. and again instead of having a point in state space as an initial value right we have initial trajectory okay between let's say d is three right minus three and zero okay let's say we have one only one state right we need to provide this to the solver right the trajectory between minus three and zero okay and this is we have seen in the as in the previous we have a proof video right in in the this is a playlist by the way if you're only watching this video this is a playlist and if you check the playlist in the first video i guess we proved why that is the case okay and for a given a and ad just find an x and beta right x is a positive definite matrix and beta is Taylor takes values between 0, 0 and 1 okay and find x and b such that this condition holds right and okay now let's look at the problem this is our problem okay and this pdf and also now here we have a matlab code you can download download all of these materials right all right and tutorial materials pdf and also matlab m files right and from the github link by using the github link down in the description section down below right and okay let's look at that again one more time i am going to sorry but i'm going to iterate that these are stpt3 and matlab i'm sorry yolmip toolbox libraries right we have YOLMIP as an LMI solver and every LMI solver as a strong STP solver, right? As a supporter. So STP T3 is an STP solver. Okay. For example, also Sedumi, I guess, right? Is an another STP solver and also Mosek, right? Popular ones, right? Okay. So what I'm doing here is that I am importing those libraries okay so if you don't have those just google them and install them really in five minutes you can get that done okay so for the first section of the code scp 3 and your or whatever your stp solver is your and an stp solver is required okay so let's look at the code sounds like it longer code however okay let me show you here here a matrix and this is a matrix right and here this is a d matrix just look at that this is a d matrix here i define them right and the state dimension is three maybe i should make it bigger okay state dimension is three and maximum delay time is 0.3 seconds and epsilon is required Please watch the previous video if you have some problem with epsilon variable, right? Epsilon is required for numerical accuracy, okay? And STP var is a YOLMIP command to define your decision variable, right? And 3 by 3, since it's 3 dimensional, right? 3 by 3, symmetric is, must be symmetric because the problem requires uh, that matrix to be that. And beta is only a scalar. So it doesn't matter if you put symmetric in okay keyword here and enter the constraints right okay let's look at let's look at the uh, maybe okay right okay first x must be positive definite because it doesn't write that here right However, it says in verbally, right? X being symmetric positive matrix. 
and so this is a constraint right as in the case where beta must be zero and one scalar value that's another constraint right okay and here i called m i called this big block matrix m capital m right so this is m 11 m 12 m 13 right m 21 m 22 m 23 m 31 m 32 m 33 okay this block matrices here and by the way y of x is given here right so m 11 is that expression here this expression and this given expression right they are same right and i'm just going to show m one two right first row second column right d d bar d bar means d max right d max times x times a transpose d max times x times x transpose and if you look at that the terms agree right okay so here i construct the m capital m matrix block matrix right and m must be negative definite okay here we kind of impose that constraint since we cannot use strict inequalities right and also i like that x matrix the entries of that x matrix to be kind of you know take some values between a predefined interval interval just to you know put some additional constraints because otherwise i feel like there would be too much degrees of freedom okay and also beta must be a scale of taking values between 0 and 1 okay so here in that line i stated that i use scp3 as my stp solver to your map right and this is a feasibility problem dbf is an object that contains our constraints and this argument expects our objective function however we don't have an objective we don't minimize or maximize some given value right this is only a feasibility problem okay so and those lines just to get the decision variables numerical values right okay let's run that let's run that again you can download that code okay from the github link let's run that Control enter right it says successful sort and also stpt3 termination code zero in the case there was nothing wrong with the computation right and we determine a feasible decision for you right so here x is that and p is that right beta I explain what P is by the way about that you can check that video okay and yeah this code section just to you know check if there was something wrong with that so I wanted to see if the eigenvalues of our P matrix is all positive because P must be positive right positive definite matrix right and that M capital m matrix that must be negative definite right and here we can see all of the eigenvalues are negative therefore the negative definite m matrix we have so and that section is let me zoom out okay okay again dde i'm sorry dde 23 is the time delay differential equation version of od45 okay so i kind of explained that in the previous video please take a look at that if you have any problem with that and so here i define as dd i called dde func right id dd function right dd function has 
Let me show you. Let me show you. DD function has that. Come on. Almost there. Okay. Okay. DD function has that differential equation as of that form. Okay. We con we provided that information, that differential equation, the rate differential equation using that DD function called named function, right? And we then provide that by using function handles to DDE2023 command function of matrap right and it solved that and here d i consider d as a constant value 0.2 seconds right and here this is a matrix and this is a d matrix okay here x1 x2 x3 and x dot equals zeros i just allocated memory okay and also we own we also have x1 delayed x2 delayed x3 delayed x3 delayed right we only have delayed versions of our states okay a matrix and ad matrix we also define that here as well and then finally x dot equals a times x a times x and also ad times ad times x delayed this is the date version of our states okay and as in the previous video as in the previous video we also have need to state like in the odd we need to state our initial condition however our initial condition is only try to imagine that it is a point in state space okay however we need to have initial trajectory initial state trajectories it is not a point right we don't say x1 of 0 equals 5 for example we need to say x1 signal or x1 state is that given signal like a signal a trajectory takes values between minus d minus d d minus 2 minus 0.2 seconds and zero right sinusoidal maybe right okay so what i'm trying to say is that maybe i should make that clear and here we need to have trajectories initial condition it says initial condition right it, it is a signal it is some trajectory takes values between minus d d and zero okay so instead of initial point initial condition point we need to have initial state trajectories okay so let's run that make it five okay five random points okay, this part of the code is only for you to see you know in the previous section we proved that yeah the given system is stable and now we are looking at the simulation to see if that is really the case right okay this is state here we all can see from random initial points or initial trajectories right for example this is not a point it is a cons for example it is a constant value right it is a constant value constant signal between minus 0.2 and 0 it is not like a point it is a constant signal okay i i i, I hope that it's clear okay so let's also see another type of figure okay here we can see like given any locations in, in 
in state space the states all three we have three states right all three of them the states converge to origin okay so we are also looking at our simulations and seeing yeah that's really the case the system is stable okay because sometimes you like to have that type of sanity checks right so what i was going to say yeah let's look at that let's look at that this is a pdf file right and you can download that pdf file i explain everything for example in the video right i also documented that what i explain here in that in this video is also documented in this pdf and you can download that from the github link down below right i also commented that so okay so thanks for watching